everyone. I am really excited about this glimmer plate. Unfortunately, I just checked my camera and it was not filming for the portion of this. So I'm just going to talk you through what I did to make this. I used this blooming tree and this is a glimmer plate from Spellbinders. This was just released on July 14th and I put my glimmer plate onto my machine and and then I used green foil from the Spellbinders um, Spellbinders website. It looks like this. Nice and green and I put this through my glimmer machine. I have ooh, I have my glimmer machine from Spellbinders here and I ended up with a um, impression image on this piece of paper. Then I went ahead and took my cutting die that comes with the blooming tree and ran that through my machine and it cut out this beautiful tree. And this time I had a really good wave of luck with my glimmering machine and I had no shadowing which was really exciting for me since I'm fairly new to the glimmering world um, as opposed to stamping or die cutting so I'm very pleased with how that turned out so those are two things that you get with this product and it also comes with four little cutting dies and four glimmer plate or glimmer yeah they're glimmer plates they're just really teeny so it would glimmer this flower and then you would cut it out glimmer the leaf and you'd cut it out so it's kind of a nice little addition there and now what I'm going to do to finish off my card is I would like to have kind of a banner statement like this and Put it with my card. Now I know that these are not Christmas cards. These are the more sentiments from Spellbinders. It is the Glimmer Plate or GLP 156 and I will have that linked in the description if you need that. It's a quick little click and in the on the background I wanted to use an embossing folder and I don't have any Christmas embossing folders from Spellbinders right now, but that's okay. I do have a kind of like Scandinavian Christmas style. It really reminded me of my family. So a little tree and a snowflake, etc. So I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine and just emboss this paper for my background. I could certainly just put the paper down um, just plain on the card, but I love the texture that embossing folders bring to card projects because they are, you know, it's just a nice little texture. So I'm going to emboss this and I'll be right back. All right, that turned out really nicely. This is from um, Simon Says Stamp, I think. I'm not sure. I, I did get quite a few things at a craft estate sale. Actually, there was two of them. So I really don't know where a couple of my products came from, but if I do know, I, I really do try to let you know just in case you wanted to recreate this card. I love that texture already. Perfect. Okay, now I need to work on glimmering my sentiment. And let's see, which one did I think? I think I was going to choose time to celebrate. Or did I say especially for you? No, I think it was time to celebrate. Now, especially for you or time to celebrate aren't necessarily Christmas sentiments, but that's just fine. I wanted to use a Spellbinders product since I'm an affiliate and it just kind of made sense to me to use one of their things here. So let's see, I better turn on my glimmer machine. And let that get warm. Um, I think I will say especially for you. That seems just kind of endearing. Especially for you. Where are you? There it is. Now what I'm going to do is um, 
foil the sentiment first then after it's done I'm going to use this to cut it out and I'm going to position it close to this um, little banner edge and then I'll probably end up just cutting the other side so stay tuned to watch that I feel like a newscaster alrighty so I'm going to use my green paper no that probably would be too much green green with green with green this was left over from my Katie card if you watch that it was kind of fun to make that one it was kind of Little Mermaid themed if you will so if you're interested check it out it's on my channel and I used the um, Amazing Paper Grace from this month and I'm not going to be too fussy of where this goes on my paper because I'm going to use my die to cut it out I found that when I am glimmering if I'm not so concerned about where the die is going to end up on the paper things just seem to go a little better I don't know why I think it's just because I'm new-ish to glimmering and I'm not the most we'll just say I'm not the best glimmering person out there I'm trying it's new so that's okay with me all right I'm just going to cut out a little piece of my foil that was left over from another project and since it doesn't have any blemishes where I want the sentiment to go it's all good for me I'm just gonna set my um, I'm plate down and move my machine over so you can see what I am up to. And I'm going to just double check. It's in view. Perfect. Okay, it does say platinum ready, so I have my little die on there. So now I'm... I forgot to put that on before, so I'm just going to let that warm up just for a minute here, roughly, so it gets nice and hot. It really won't take long. This is a very warm machine, so if you're working with this, um, just be careful. It says it here, caution, 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 it's hot. Uh, you'll live if it touches you, though, I'm sure. Okay, so... That should be warm by now. I'm just going to put my foil down right over the die with the glimmer plate. I keep wanting to say die. It's not a die. Glimmer plate. Glimmer plate. And that foil is warming up. I forgot to hit timer. I told you I'm new. And it's very important if you're using the glimmer machine to have the shiny side down. It seems backwards, it's not. Um, if you're looking for a tutorial of how to use the glimmer machine, I would definitely head over to the Spellbinders YouTube channel. And there's something called Glimmer Bootcamp. And they have a series of videos, I think it's about 20, that show you so many tips and tricks about how to use the glimmer machine and really just the best <laughs> explanations of how to use it. So if you're really new to glimmering, um, I would definitely check out those videos if you purchase the Glimmer Machine. And recently they just had a sale where if you bought the Glimmer Machine, they took $20 off, which is kind of nice because the Glimmer Machine isn't cheap. Um, there was probably a lot that went into the making of this. So it is a rather expensive product, but it is a machine. It's used for multiple different projects, so it's going to be a little expensive. It's like a die cutting machine that way. All right, I'm going to run this through my um, die cutting machine here just to press down the glimmer plate, and I will show you what it looks like. Yay! <laughs> It turned out okay phew all right I am going to just remove this plate and put it on my cooling mat 
dock this guy back up because I don't want something hot just sitting around. And yay, this is my favorite part of foiling is taking off the foil. And I can tell that it did work out really nicely because I am able to see the letters very clearly. So that is exciting. Oh, that is so satisfying. <laughs> Yay, it turned out. Alrighty, now this is kind of the simple part, at least for me, because I've die cut, I don't even know how many things, hundreds of things. So this is pretty simple. I'm just gonna take this little banner die and cut it. Okay, since this is a little long, for what I am looking for, I am going to cut this out. Now, before I just start cutting, you could take this and run it through your machine so you get two sides, but the look I'm going for is a straight edge. You know, things aren't dry yet. This is a bear with me type of video. Bear with me. <laughs> I think that the ground needs a little, we need some ground. This tree just can't float. So don't worry, that's gonna be covered up. I've been on vacation, you guys, and I am, I, I put everything away before I went on vacation and I'm struggling to remember where I put things in my crafting area here. You would think that I would just know where things are, but no. <laughs> if I just put it back in the first place, I probably would not have this problem. I think that's what most people would say, but I don't know. Sometimes... I feel like the craft room's a little more functional and I get more things done. <laughs> Quote, more things done in the craft room. If it is a little, um, not messy, messy, but if things are out and I can see them. Sorry if you heard that, that scared, scared me pretty good. That is my ice machine. The microphone didn't pick it up. Hooray. If it did, not to fear. Okay. Oh, I love a snowy hill. In Minnesota, it's like, you know, everyone complains about what we don't have. So right now it's about 98 degrees, hot. <laughs> and people are saying, oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. You can't even go outside. No. Oh. And the humidity. I mean, it's warm, but it's lovable. Anyway, in the winter time. Oh, it's so cold, you can't even go outside. <laughs> Suppose people want what they can't have. I don't think I'm going to use these because I have kind of like a goal of theme. I'm going to use these clear sequins that came in a card kit from Spellbinders a couple months ago, and I'm going to pretend that they are snowflakes. So a little bit of an artful interpretation, if you will. And I'm first going to put the glue dots kind of all over, scattered, and like snow. Then I will go and use my jewel picker and put them on. This is just another reason why I think the Spellbinders card kits are so worth every penny because you can use the things that come in them for so many projects. It's just wonderful. So if you are never tried one, I would recommend trying one. The July one is really fun with some kind of like mystical themed things. And the one for August has some really nice things in there too. I can't really say what's in there yet, but you'll like it if you like the Spellbinders usual designs. I'm sure that you will love it. And 
their their kids are always really versatile and they're not usually um, geared for just one type of individual they are pretty pretty um, versatile so as I put these sequins back I will just say um, again I will have everything that I used here in the description that was such a fail um, and I am actually going to let my art glue here dry and show you on camera what the card looks like after my glue has dried because I mean right now it is a gorgeous card because of all the foiling and the embossing but when the glue dries it will look just even more like I expected it to so is this a Christmas card sure is it a winter card sure could it be a Christmas birthday card I don't know maybe it could be especially for you is kind of one of those sentiments that isn't really for just one thing so I don't know maybe maybe it could be a few different things all right I'm going to clean up my workspace and I will be back once this glue dries